Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Kimmy Allen from the mamadiaries.com. Thank you guys all for chatting with me today. So I've only seen the first episode and I want to see more. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It was so, so good. I was like, it was very engaging. And, you know, for, for like only 30 minute time or so, you packed like so much in. So um, I would love to know from all of you, what made you want to be part of this series? And Lily, we can start with you. Yeah, of course. I think what really attracted me to this project was the heart and the story and the message behind it. My character, Ella, um, went through cancer and she's currently, it, during the show, she's in remission and she's going back to school trying to get used to her, this new normal life and going through this journey with her friends, with, with her friend Kai and with her friend Jimena and just kind of finding herself and getting used to this new normal and her new mindset on life with the uh, with her seize the day mentality and thinking that, you know, she, she going through cancer, she realized that you have to live every moment to the fullest because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I feel like the stories, it's very unique and it's different from what, you know, we've all seen. Um, it's not like talked about so much on yeah. what these kids go through. And I just feel like it's amazing how we can show that um, because she has people by her side. And, you know, she has like her nurses and everything, but her family and friends are really the people that helped her get through that. Absolutely. Having that support, um, especially with um, our town's character, Kai, and with my family, definitely helped my character get through those hard times. Yeah, and oh, sorry, with, with my character, <laughs> no, I was, I was just processing that in my mind. But um, with my character, it's, you know, very similar because, you know, it's all one, like, in the same story, but my character really struggled with, you know, dealing with how she felt about the cancer of Ella. And, you know, rather than, you know, stand by her side and try and comfort her, she thought it would be a safer decision for herself to just distance herself instead, you know, completely ghost her, not come and visit her. You know what I mean? And while I mean, it's really your choice on how you feel, because I mean, I feel like mental health is very important. And if you feel like that could be you know, triggering or it could lead to like the wrong situation mentally for you, then maybe you should distance yourself, but you should at least tell the other person, especially if it's like a best friend or a family member, because it is wrong to just completely ghost them. That's going to make them feel, you know, unloved, you know, hurt. They're going to feel like they did something wrong, you know, because you're not wrong for having cancer. Right. And Vanessa, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of your character. Because I'm sure, you know, that'll go into it more, you know, besides the first episode. But yeah, definitely. Um, Lily, your character clearly has PTSD. I mean, who the heck wouldn't? You know, how did you prepare yourself for those those um, scenes? Yeah, I, uh, I'm, a youth, I'm a youth ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I had the amazing opportunity of talking with a couple of the patients at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and hearing about their stories and their experience um, through treatment and also after treatment, going back to school and dealing with their friendships and their family and how that affected and how cancer affected those things. And I was definitely able to take pieces of that of their stories and put them into my character. Um, we also had a couple of, um, we had, I think we had a writer on the show, um, Hernan, who I was able to talk with and hear about his story as well. And that was incredibly helpful. And also having him on set was great. He was able to talk me through a couple of things and doing a couple of those deeper scenes. He talked me through what it felt like and what, what, what they went through in the hospital. So I'm sure the three of you had some fun moments on set. Is there anything that you can share to me that with me that sticks out? Oh, um, goodness. We I had so like, many. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> school times when we're doing oh, yeah. school. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> we're doing school. It's, we would just be snapping each other. We're yeah. like, we were like Snapchatting each other, like texting each other during school. And <laughs> just like, oh, like oh, my God, get our teacher out of the Zoom right now. <laughs> Those school is very important. Like, we... It was like kind it's of hard. our break. It's hard so because it like it's kind of your break. break. So like and when you're done yeah. filming, they send you to school. And then yeah. you're like, I just want to chill. And then like all you want to do is like eat, go on your phone. You know, go to craft. <laughs> relax your mind for a second. Because acting is very hard. Being on set is yeah. very, very hard to do. It's and um yeah. and of course school is hard to do when yeah. Yeah. Like that. But um, we definitely played a lot of games and had a oh, lot yeah. of fun like gossiping and talking about school and yeah all that fun stuff in between takes and offset. And luckily we had very good set teachers who were there for us and yes. they supported us. So if we needed a break, they'd be like, take they would, a break and come back. Us. So yeah, that was great. That's great. Is there anything that you're hoping your audience will take away from this series? 
I think the biggest thing that I hope viewers take away from this show is Ella's new mindset on life, because going through cancer, Ella learned that you can't take anything for granted and you can't be too worried about the little things in life. You just have to enjoy yourself and be your true self to everyone that you meet and just live life to the fullest. And I think that's something that I hope viewers take away from this show and this story. Yeah, I also feel like I hope that they see that they're not alone and that no matter what they're going through, there's going to be people there that love you and that are going to give you the support to help you get through it because at the end of the day, they just want what's best for you. So they're going to be by your side no matter what you're going through. Absolutely. Amen to that. <laughs> um, I think it's a great series. I think a lot of kids and, and parents are going to be able to relate to it, you know, and it's, it's really great. Something like this is out there, coming out there. So thank you all for your time today. Thank and you. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you for having you us. I'm looking forward to watching more. Thank you. Yes, us too. Thanks. Have a great day.